The beaches are uh, green. Uh, the people are incredibly kind. The water is just an absolutely fantastic temperature. And uh, I've seen no, no real ill effects from the tsunami, especially here in Rayleigh Bay. The greatest thing we've ever done was come here right now because of uh, our being here supports the people. They want us here. And they've welcomed us with open arms. The beaches themselves are, uh, well, it's just a wonderful place to be. Now that it's after the tsunami, I understand it's actually a lot nicer than it was before. And now those people, those tourists who still come, are people who really care about Thailand, who want to give them the money to rebuild. And I mean, it's not like it's a charity because it's a gorgeous place. things you saw in the video at the beginning of the show is this was a high water mark. This is as high up as the water got here in Tongsai. It's the same here. It's back. Everything's back to normal. There's a few places that still need to be built. See the wave. Yeah, and the wave. And they come, you know, and they come in and broke everything down. It was Sawadiba, you know, and then we start rebuild again. Many friends and help and Charles, you know, Charles, you know, Charles come to get the money to ask for help for building. And this is Bung Wet. Yeah. He is one of the owners of the Sawadi Bar that unfortunately got flattened by the tsunami. So anyway, he's one of the people that really is most affected in this area. My mother, people that go to her church oh, in America, yeah, yeah. they donate some money. Just for some regular people that want to help somebody. So thank you very much. Yeah, thank, thank you for Chad's mom and all the her friends for this money. Thank you very much. This can make can help us too much. Yeah. on Tao on Rayleigh Beach has changed. It's more upmarket, the bungalows are more expensive, so naturally it's the evolution of the place and what's happened is now Tonsai is the young person's holy grail. And it's much busier than here, even now Tonsai is busy. But they're all climbers and they're climbing hard and young people doing their thing. <laughs> well, coming here now is important because people really depend on the tourist dollar. And I mean, the beach is clean, there's no disease, there's no struggle here that you have to deal with. It, and it's, it's pristine, it's kicked back, it's perfect. There's a lot of places to stay. A lot of these places have just two or three bungalows filled right now. You know, there's, there's so many bungalows here that need business. They're just, they're just, they're just open, they're just sitting there. It's a mellower hang than a lot of the other beaches. It's a place where you can chill, you can just relax and enjoy the surroundings. The surroundings are spectacular.